We're getting home free, guys. We're almost there. Keep on working on this bad boy. Looks like you're building a Mona Lisa. Don't neglect this uh, this turn down. You should start seeing the shimmering of your shop lights in there or your garage lights wherever you're doing this. You should start being uh, a little bit polished up. You should start showing you some love, guys. So that one's pretty close. On the camera, it might look a little rougher than it actually is. If you feel that with your finger, you will not feel any, imperfe any imperfections, any roughness in it. Okay, now we start again. Stand up. Start working the back side. And just depending on how much, you know, if it's your own cylinder heads, guys, by all means, go crazy with this polishing because it only helps you. You know, you guys on your own heads have all the time in the world to polish, you know, to polish these up, but I'm sure if I spent 55 hours on this, my customer would probably be a little pissed because the labor would start adding up. Now spin it. Just start working it, guys. It's kind of like an eraser. You're trying to erase all those big scratches you put in it earlier. Notice that it's working a lot faster once this uh, the sander's broke in. And that's what I mean by broke in. It's cone nice, she's broke in good. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it down, put our spring back under the back side. We're gonna do a little bit in here, clean this all up real pretty. Chase your guide. We worked into what we did before. Just blending. I feel like that that old paint guy on Channel 8. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's got like a he's a white dude, he's got like a pro. And he's probably recorded that stuff in the 70s. And he's like real calm, dude. You can fall asleep to him. What you're gonna do is you're gonna blend the back side. Starting to clean up quite nicely. I don't know if you guys can see it at home, but. I don't know if you can see the smoothness there on the camera, but uh, that's actually very smooth. That You cannot feel any roughness in that with your fingers. So now we have the back side to do which is always left for last. I don't know why I do it that way. It's just kind of the way that I learned how to do it. Well, you can see the rough going to the smooth, I think, if you, if you take a picture and then let me get the light and we'll see if we can give you a little bit. See how, see how smooth that stuff is? That's actually quite smooth. And then this other side, this down right here, is real rough, okay? That's what we're gonna clean up next. Keep erasing it. This is probably the hardest part to polish up because the way it sits and it's real hard to get to. 
And honestly, because how much you have to take off in the porting process, you guys saw how much we had to take off, so. Now we take this and we're gonna hit that guide one more time. Just to polish her up real pretty. And guess what guys, that port's done. You'll see how pretty that sucker is. You'll see that the light reflects off of it. It's nice and smooth. Sorry. Hold that real quick. Kinda playing camera swap here. Okay. Nice and beautiful port. Compared to that guy, you can see all the metal imperfections in it. You can, that one kind of looks like a CNC port. Okay, then you got the top one right here. There you go. And you have the bottom one. Look at the bottom one right there. That'll show you. See how rough that is? And you have our beautiful uh, finished port, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll get to the intake ports next.